All right. Now we're going going into another lab. Let's see. Here, uh, we are going to use the uh, file. Uh, learn how to identify file types. So when you see the files on the you know, disk, you know you the first thing that you are going to look at is the extension right, of the file. But after this class, please do not trust that extension ever. Right? It can be executable, but you can say as a .jpg, JPG right? because this extension is only for the humans. For the machine, it's kind of meaningless in general. It, is, it does use the file extension in the application, but in general, the using some this file and identif identification tool is better way to identify the file type. All right, for that, let's go to here. When you go to the uh, malware class, and let's see. Okay, very first one. The file utility is uh, included in, in the in the Ubuntu, and this is a, one of the tool that you can use. Very simple tool. You can use to identify the uh, file file type. You see unknown sample or folder.exe. Okay, and as I mentioned, please use the tab. Please do not type everything. You know. Tap is uh, with the first a few characters and the tap, right? Then enter. Do you see the output like as I have? Okay. Do you see here? When you actually do LS, I know, when you see here, that .exe doesn't have that much of information, right? And when you do file, it says, okay, this file is P32 executable and for Microsoft Windows and UPX compressed, right? It gives you more detail. Actually, very interesting is, I think the previous, oh, the file due to itself, I think it has been improved because previously I don't think it identified whether the uh, binary being in the compressed or not, the packed or not. But now, as of uh, today, it actually does you know give you the information. It is a it is a P file and it is being packed. Uh, so that's what yes. Good question. So yeah, it can be. Multiple, so how you are going to look at the TRID is not only the magic, because uh, um, packed one, it does have an MZ at the beginning. So it see other features as well, whether, as a should see, for example, can be if uh, sections, does it have like a UPX section? Then you want to identify it as a UPS because there are multiple features you, know, you can basically use to identify type, right? Just it, is it? Okay. All right. All right. So this is a one, and another one is um, we'll go to my real class tools and TRID. Go to CD my real class tools TRID. And actually, there was a very good question. When you see the TRID directory, you see TRID depths.trd. This is a database. For the TRID, it has a lot of definitions of file, uh, about the, the file information. Actually, this uh, definition file actually grows. And the author of TRID, he actively maintained this definition file. So as time goes, it has more information, so you know it can identify you know, more various files. Or even the same file, you can identify it in the with a better heuristics. Tier ID. Okay, I'm going to run. Let's do the same thing with the tier ID and give tier ID dot dot slash tier ID. 
and bio class samples unknown sample of for that exe trid is a uh, enter now let's see the output is different from the file output right so they use for trid case they use a bunch of definition files as a database to uh, determine what kind of kind of file type is and it output as a kind of uh, problem as a, as a uh, statistical way right it give you percent percentage of it, or how much is a uh, uh, how much it is uh, certain that in a certain file we're going to be that type it give you as a percentage so what it does is 42 right okay it is upx uh, comp uh, compress uh, p file then another thing it says exe yoda script probably is another uh, popular Cryptogra cryptographic in a way to, uh, that is used as a UPX. So, so it is not, rather than saying, okay, this is just in the UPX uh, compressed P file, it, rather than doing that, it gives you more you know, uh, information here, right? And it, another interesting part is it says 9%, it may be not the executable, maybe it is a DLL, right? So there is some in the feature it says it may be the DLL, right? But, Another thing, one uh, thing I want to mention was that there is one use either one bit or one bit. I think it's one bit in the P file header. There is only one bit. It says whether it's a DLL or not. So you may be looking at you know that uh, P file as the header information to determine you know whether it's a DLL or not. Or as I said, another thing they can look at, look up is maybe whether it has an export table. Okay, I'll mention the import table and export table I'm going to explain right now. So import table is the one if there is a code and it's actually using the library, then those information is stored in the import table inside the P file. But in, in the case of export table, if it's a DLL, DLL's main uh, functionality is it develops some functions to, to be used by other either DLL or the uh, main executable file, right? If that's the case, it put those information into the export table. Okay, so another heuristic maybe it can may use is uh, if export table exists, then maybe it's a DLL. That's uh, just one of my, my guess, but it can be used. All right. And how about oh, I'll finish this one, but then I want you to actually go to the other lab. So yeah, in okay, there's a slide. Okay, so you know, even many files, if you get it as a you know, different uh, extension, I know, file extension, please just ignore basically and use these other tools to identify. And for this class, as I mentioned, we are focusing on the P, uh, usually uh, malware that is in P file format, which it runs on the Windows. And I think uh, there will be another class that deals with other file format, like PDF or doc file or the uh, Excel file, doc, yeah. doc or Excel file for the, for like malicious you know documents. But I will not going to deal with those uh, file formats for this class. All right, so let's going back to. Malware samples unknown. So there is a five executable so you can use the uh, trid on the ubuntu or you can go to the vm when you go vm malware class vm malware class tools you see trid underscore net so this is the same trid uh, application but for the windows is compiled and you see the trid okay i will just actually go up about the definition file there was only one definition file for linux right but for windows i'm kind of scared to click this one because there's a lot of, lot of file so i'll still do it okay i hope okay do you see i want to scroll down you see there's a, really a lot of uh, definition file, files. 
I think it is in the XML format, but may, maybe wrong. I think it is, but anyway. So do not click it, but I'll just show you there's a lot of definition file for the TRID. All right, here, I'll go here, TRID net, and click TRID net. All right, from here, select a file to analyze. And when you can browse to directory as a desktop, malware class, samples, uh, uh, samples, unknown. Interesting, the uh, sample 04 was a uh, sample 04.exe, right? But when you see on the windows, it is just looks like a directory, but it is CSE file or the DLF, I don't know yet. So, Let's collect, so, and as we, uh, okay, go to here, select, okay, it said TRID file, uh, okay, say okay, and when you see it, there's a nothing here, right, that is because it, no definition file was found, right, that's why, so we need to, say where the definition files are, right? Go to browse. It was a malware class, it's desktop, malware class, tools, and there's a TRID, devs underscore XML, right? For here, what you need to do is just say, so we set it only one file. Then you import all the files in that directory, okay? Then you will see, you just don't see the web, but 5,000, like a definition file being imported. Okay? And then do you see the uh, outputs? Exactly the same as uh, what we saw in the window, uh, Linux. Good? Okay, so for the uh, lab, I want you to identify Uh, identify files under unknown directory in the malware class samples and unknown. There's a five uh, files, but since we already used a sample or four, you can identify other uh, four files. You can do either on the VM or you can do on the Ubuntu using this command here. TRID. Any questions? Let's go back to the um, the previous lab. So what is the uh, one of uh, uh, sample 01.exe? Uh, do you get the uh, same result as I, I have? So what it says is, okay, it is executable. Uh, it may be six, four bit executable. So, and it may be, again, it may be DLF, but it just give you as a, you know, the confidence level. How about the what file says? So I think that was probably the 64 bit executable. It, it says more in the simple way, right? This is basically using the uh, TRID is uh, better to identify what the file is. Okay, how about number two? Okay, it has a higher confidence as a DLL. Then probably most likely is a DLF, right? You see the same result. And how about three? There you go. This says PDF file, right? But it doesn't say the details in it, but because it only care about the uh, its own file and. Um, Yeah, I don't think you will do it, but uh, maybe you can have the sample that has embedded in the EXE file and then maybe run it and then it may be not. They're just, I'm not sure because I haven't done it. Go. <laughs> and we have uh, run the uh, four, so let's go to five. 
Okay, it says the it is a docu uh, Microsoft document, but at the same time it said is a maybe the zip compressed archive. Do you know why that is the case? Anyone? Okay, see, it says uh, mentioned. So it is using the uh, and the multiple heuristics, heuristics and then to identify the file type. So yes, you said zip file because it's actually a, a compressed file from an office like 2010. I think they use the uh, compressed file and then inside the compressed file it has a lot of XML files. Any questions so far?